Hello and welcome to the Tech Bytes audio cast. My name's Tim and I'm from the Open Bytes Blogazine and with me is Dr. Roy Shesterwitz from the Tech Rights website. It's Friday night and I'm gonna get sauce. I fought the troll and the troll lost. I fought the troll and the troll lost. He tried to boss me and was outbossed. I fought the troll and the troll lost. I fought the troll and the troll lost Underneath his creeper bridge Hoping goats will cross Quoting Ashcroft and Tom Ridge I fought the troll and no, the troll My next question is more about surveillance because I, I, I don't want it to be strictly about uh, software uh, because I know you do activism for freedom in general um, and I want to ask you about advice for trying to avert surveillance in this age where, based on the based on whistleblowers, we know the NSA is in fact recording vast amounts of information and data about people, and also recording all the emails. What what are, what is your suggestion to people who try to avoid all of that? Well, I think it's our duty to avoid that. It's every citizen's duty to stick a finger in Big Brother's eye. Now, the NSA would like us to believe that. It's doing this surveillance to protect us, at least us Americans, from, from terrorism. But the U.S. regularly accuses dissidents of being terrorists. So whenever a government says it's fighting terrorists, read dissidents. And when you look at where the danger around the world comes from, to a large extent it comes from the U.S. The U.S. was behind what well, well, carried out uh, a war of aggression in Iraq, uh, a war of conquest, and then an occupation in which, uh, and as a result, hundreds of thousands of Iraqis were killed. The, um, the usual figure is definitely an underestimate. And so, uh, really, you've got to ask, who does the world need protecting from? And this is not to, not to count countries which are dictatorships that are propped up by the U.S., which carry out the worst kinds of atrocities, but they're useful allies to the U.S., so the U.S. protects them, such as Ethiopia and uh, now Honduras. Honduras had a military coup which might have been organized by the U.S., but in any case has certainly been uh, given full support by the U.S. since. So, <clears throat> I just don't think that that argument is valid at all. Mm -hmm. I don't think that the NSA is on the side of good people in the world. And so I think that it's, you know, well, it's perfectly appropriate to do things like using Tor and using encryption to interfere with the NSA's ability to find out what you're doing. And I want to also ask you, what, what's your advice about the use of mobile phones, especially now that we know, at least based on Spring, that uh, the carriers, at least in the United States, and I know here in the UK as well, uh, are in fact uh, collecting data on location of people, the people they phone, perhaps the address books as well. What what would you say to people who really have I to? I don't have a mobile phone. I know, but and what would you? Why? It's because mobile phones are Stalin's dream. They're surveillance and tracking devices. They're always sending the location, they send the location frequently, I think, even if you don't make a call. So your whole life is being tracked. And, and of course, if you do make a call, the system knows who you called. And not only that, most mobile phones 
need to make a call, I ask somebody nearby to let me make a call. That way, Big Brother doesn't get any information about me. It's Friday night and I'm gonna get sauce. I fought the troll and the troll lost. I fought the troll and the troll lost. He tried to boss me and was outbossed. I fought the troll and the troll lost. I fought the troll and the troll lost. Underneath his creeper bridge, hoping goats will cross. Quoting Ashcroft and Tom Ridge, I fought the troll and the troll lost. I fought the troll and the troll lost. He's even dumber than Mickey Cost. I fought the troll and the troll lost. I fought the troll and the troll lost. Wouldn't last two minutes with David Frost. I fought the troll and the troll lost. I fought the troll and the troll lost. His worldview sounds like pro wrestling, although not as nuanced. Behind his eyes, the wind's whistling. I fought the troll and the troll lost. I fought the troll and the troll lost. I kicked him off a Pentagon and Atrios. I fought the troll and the troll lost. I fought the troll and the troll lost. He's permanently banned from daily cost. I fought the troll and the troll lost. I fought the troll and the troll lost. And in November, W, and all his thugs will toss. We'll try to fix America. I fought the troll and the troll lost. I fought the troll and the troll lost. And all you trolls out there trying to aggravate everyone with your stupidity, illogic, and blind, unthinking devotion to the Bush regime, this section is especially for you. I'm not going to name any of you out loud, not wanting to give you even the slightest possible notoriety, but as you sink under the weight of your own asininity into an intellectual La Brea tar pit, you can imagine that I sing your nom de guerre right now and bask in a stolen fame you don't deserve. <laughs> 